As most of you might have noticed, the Kenny Machine V1 will no longer work from January the 5th on. No more projects will be able to release their collection with a very very famous repository from Exiled Apes. But that's not a big deal, as the new solution Kenny Machine V2 is nearly ready to go. My name is OneStone from Stractors and in today's video I will summarize why there is a switch to V2 and then show you how you can use the new Kenny Machine for your project. These videos are a lot of work for us, especially during the holidays, so if you would like to support us, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Keep also in mind to comment under our video, because every comment helps us with the YouTube algorithm. But now, let's start with the video. The Solana ecosystem had an incredible year, and we end the year with over 1 million minted NFTs. A milestone that was largely responsible for this success was the development of the Kenny machine, which made it possible for artists to easily drop their collection and provide a fair mint to buyers. But this fairness is no longer given, as there are Kenny machine bots that can mint specific NFTs from collections. In some cases, this led to projects where all the rare NFTs went into a few wallets, while the majority of the community got the common ones. We give the clear warning even if you have prepared everything carefully with V1, switch to V2 until your drop. Let me explain you the most important changes now. First of all, we have an unpredictable mint index, which brings us randomized mints. Bots will no longer be able to mint specific NFTs, as the next token will be determined randomly. It's no longer in sequential order. Furthermore, we have no civic pass, as an on-chain proof of person capture solution to get rid of bots. The next change is something that will make a lot of people happy. Pre-sale and whitelist functionalities that were previously only realizable through APs and extended candy machines are now largely simplified. Just to name a few examples, allowing whitelist users to mint before the start date, mint at a discounted price or restrict the mint entirely to only whitelist users. Other cool features worth mentioning are also larger scalable collections, reveal drops and mint pauses. But for now, I want to give you a small quick start guide on how to get started with Candy Machine V2. So now, let's come to the implementing part. We from Stractors can clearly recommend some documentation. You can find the links in the description as usual. First we have Metaplex V2 documentation. There are all the steps listed very clearly, which we go through in the video. Also very helpful was the notes from Mark Zuckerberg on HackMD and as usual, the middle of everything is the Metaplex repository. Since Kenny Machine V2, everything we need is in this repository, so that's the only thing we need. The first step is to clone it onto your drive. I clone it in a separated V2 folder to have a clearer structure on my drive, but yeah, that's up to you. The whole clone process can take some seconds, so yeah, take your time. Since we have cloned the Metaplex repository, the next move is to install the JS folder with a yarn install. So we move to the JS folder. And then yeah, type yarn install and we should be fine. I will cut this process because yeah, that can take a while. When the clone command has finished, what I usually do is to generate a buyer and a seller wallet to have a complete clean setup. Therefore we move back to the v2 folder and type in the command Solana Keygen new out file and then the directory where the wallets should stay. In my case, it's just in the v2 folder wallet.config solana and then the seller JSON. Now I'm uh, typing in solana airdrop 2. 2 is the current limit for maximum, maximum solana per airdrop. And give it to my seller wallet. Yeah, now I'm generating the buyer wallet. So I take the same command as before and just change the name from seller.json to buyer.json 
And then I'm replicating the same airdrop command as for the seller wallet, but for the buyer wallet. So now we have our wallet set up ready. So what I'm now doing is uh, importing my private buyer and seller key into my phantom wallet extension. Yeah, you can see here how you are doing this. I will cut the video at this point because it's my private keys. <laughs> As you can see, I finished my phantom setup and uh, I'm now copying my seller wallet public key because we will need it later. And yeah, now I move to Metaplex, JS, Packages and then CLI. Yeah, here's where everything is laid down. As you can see in the SRC folder, we have uh, our Kenny Machine V2 CLI, so our main, main program. And yeah, now it's it's important that we fill out our config JSON, which is named here example Candy Machine Upload Config JSON. Um, yeah, because here we have all the attributes we can we can use. We have uh, different types of, of values we can we can give to them. And for now, we will just do like a minimum setup. So uh, we plan for 2022 to do a bigger bigger setup with whitelist uh, functionality and stuff. But for now, I'm just filling from from top to bottom like price with a value a number is like the number of nfts you have gatekeeper is the place where the the capture logic is turned on or off then you have to put exactly the values i have here inside to use the candy machine uh, capture logic in so treasury account we put our public key we we copied before yeah then we have some things like spl token account spl token and stuff yeah, which we will handle in future videos. For now, the next important thing is uh, go live date. Because in the example config file, like it's not pre-filled or pre-populated. I copy this from the HackMD um, documentation to, to get the correct format. Yeah. Now I'm filling like the date uh, from, from today, 28th uh, of December 2021. And now I'm filling the time. I keep in mind that it's CST time, so probably a little different than your current time. Next we have end settings and whitelist min settings. Um, both are yeah, different settings that you can make that we will show in future videos. But maybe whitelist min settings is a little more interesting for now. Um, yeah, Here in the, in the Metaplex documentation there is an own part where configurations are explained. And here you can see what different things you can do with the whitelist functionality and stuff. Yeah, now we are back to the config file. Um, what we have further is hidden settings, which also brings some functionality and we will handle later. More important for now is storage. On a mainnet drop you would put something like Arweave Sol on DevNet. The only thing you can use is Arweave. And the rest can stay empty or set to null. So keep in mind that in the config JSON for v2, you don't sh or shouldn't delete something. The only thing you should do is like setting anything to null if you don't use it. Now we come back to preparing our assets. Um, I have prepared everything in, in advance. So yeah, for now the JSON metadata file looks nearly the same as before. There's only one thing you have to keep in mind uh, differently to v1 and that's the URE um, placeholder. This has to have the exact same name as your PNG, like 0PNG, 1PNG, 2.PNG, um, because a normal placeholder like image.png won't work anymore, then you will just have like an empty token without a picture in the blockchain. Yeah, so keep in mind that you fill these in your metadata files and yeah, you will be fine. The rest is exactly the same, so yeah, we'll be good at this point. What we are now doing is uh, creating the candy machine. Um, as you can see in the Metaplex documentation, everything is written down perfectly. So um, yeah, we have just one command for uploading and creating the candy machine. So uploading assets and creating the candy machine. Yeah, this command goes like or, or starts with TS node as before. We are using TypeScript with the CLI. 
so yeah that's for sure here i'm doing a little mistake <laughs> that's on me um yeah so we start the command with a ts node um, then the directory of our candy machine cli which in my case is metaplex or dot metaplex uh, js package cli src candy machine v2 cli then we come with our command which in this case is upload and then we start with attributes um, i start with a dash e for environment uh, devnet then a dash k for key pair uh, where i put in the directory where my seller key pair is um, yeah then i continue with a dash cp which stands for configuration path i guess and um, where my the path to my configuration uh, is and uh, yeah in the end you put like the directory to your assets in my case dot dash assets yeah and now I, I see that i messed something up before i forgot the config json file so i created it in the metaplex folder in the example in the example json uh, but i forgot to like uh, duplicate it and put it into my normal folder and rename it so that's what i'm doing now like uh, copying my example file i prepared before and rename it to config.json yeah to to have everything better structured so now i press return and everything needs some seconds to start and, and yeah the whole uploading process can take some seconds so i will do a cut here As you can see my upload is finished what i normally would do now is like put in the verify command so it's the exact same command as the upload command just with a verify in it um, but in my case on the current master branch the command for any reason has some kind of error as i told before and um, they are currently developing the candy machine v2 so this can happen uh, i commented on an issue to see okay if it's if it's possibly solving so we will see how is it going with this for the moment uh, i created the video it's not working so what i'm doing now is just check in the devnet json at the dot cache folder if my artworks are uploaded to our weave that's what i'm doing now and uh, i just paste the our weave link into chrome and see okay the picture is uploaded everything is fine Due to the Exiled Apes repository is currently not working with Candy Machine V2. Um, the only repository that is working uh, is the one you can find in Metaplex.js package Fairlaunch. That's the only repository currently or the only front end repository currently working with Candy Machine V2. So we have to use this. Also at the time I was creating this video, um, the fair launch part is not really working, had some very strange issue. So what I'm doing now is like check out another git branch with a fixed or which, which fixed this issue. Uh, for this I'm using git checkout um, and then the name of the branch which, uh, which is uh, fix our weave, uh, fix our weave upload. And yeah, so I'm currently checking this one out. Uh, I forgot to go into the Metaplex repository, so don't mind about that error. Um, now I see, okay, I changed something. So what I'm doing now is like using the force attribute um, to override all my changes I have uh, locally. Um, yeah, so probably don't mind about that too. Yeah, and now uh, the only thing I have to do is uh, yarn install uh, in the in the JS folder. Um, yeah, this, this can take a while, so I will probably cut this. Um, so, see you then. As you can see, I had to do one more command to get everything uh, to work. npm, e, save dev, uh, add types, canvas confetti. But now everything is working accordingly, so what we are doing now is filling the .env. For this, we need the candy machine uh, public key from our upload command, which I'm copying now um, uh, into the according place uh, in the .env file. Yeah, what we see down there, like this phase one stuff uh, is uh, another topic, so we can delete this part. The only thing we have to do is like remove the hashtags from the devnet uh, Solana network part and put it on the mainnet part so that we are doing our test run on the devnet. And now we can save everything and um, yeah we should be fine
now one last step uh, is needed and that's yarn start from the fan launch repository so we go to the cd packages a cd fan launch and then type in yarn start to start our page this can take a while so i will cut this process probably so now as we can see our site is up on localhost um, what we now have to do is like to connect our wallet to the page. Uh, I'm currently logged in seller wallet. So I change to buyer wallet and click connect. And now we have our mint site ready, uh, like the fair launch mint site. What we can do now is mint. And then we see directly like one of the big advantages of uh, Kenny machine V2, the capture functionality. So we can like from scratch, uh, use a capture functionality on blockchain, which you can see now. I'm approving the catcher and then I can click mint and now we see like the real transaction with a, a 0, 0 0.69 sol. Um, I'm minting and I have succeeded the mint. Uh, now we can go to my wallet and see if everything worked fine and as we see I have one collectible from Stractors uh, which is our wonderful Lawrence White. Um, Everything is filled out, metadata is complete. And uh, what we can see is that it's Stractor 8, which is one of the other advantages of uh, Kenny Machine V2, that they come out randomized, so it's not possible like to see before which NFT you will get, which, which rarities it has. Um, yeah, to make sure uh, <laughs> that this is working accordingly, I'm doing it again. Um, so the first one was Stractor 8 and um, now I s you see like the second mint, mint I got is a Lorenz uh, Glow and uh, this one is Stractor 7, so the one before which is like, uh, yeah, <laughs> very, very funny, but as you can see it's randomized, uh, so yeah. So now we have our basic mint functionality site ready. Um, what you can do now is like build your design around it and just use like the mint button or some other functionalities. What you could do too is just implement the fair launch mint button into your current page. So that's an option too. The next video that we will do is like an ultimate NFT project guide where we will show you step by step everything you need to drop your collection on Solana with Candy Machine V2. Now, let me thank you for watching. Join our Discord server if you have any questions regarding the video. I hope you liked it. The links for everything are in the description as usual. Stay tuned for more content. I'm OneStorm and see you guys. <laughs>